Customers looking to have multiple projects bid in their backyard. All right, I'm gonna start with their uh, steps over here. Okay, this is their backyard. I'll turn around just to get perspective. They just put in a new um, garage back here and I'll turn around this way and this is their yard and the deck and back to the steps. All right, so um, first of all, on the steps, um, we will be uh, removing the railings, but we are not going to actually veneer the steps as they are. He wants to have some buttresses put on, and the way that he'd like them put on is um, to take some 8-inch cinder block, or maybe even 4-inch cinder block, and um, lay it on the... Um, on the steps themselves. So, um, so that way, the, the steps on the side here... Um, there. The steps on the side here would transition smoothly into a buttress that goes two courses above the landing. So we're going to start, uh, so it would be 16 inches here plus a cap, but we go 16 inches from the corner of the house to um, the front of this riser, which is one riser down, uh, the front of this riser, which is one in, a riser down from the... Uh, um, from the uh, from the landing, and then the second buttress would go from here up, and it'd be two courses tall, so 16 inches plus a cap, and that would go to the front of uh, of the step, and he'd want that done on both sides. So um, there'd be a little bit of cutting that's involved in in it, and I'd probably want to drill um, some rebar in. Um, to uh, and core fill it just to keep it strong and, and attached to this uh, to this step. Um, so just just as a as a reference, and then we we'll, we'll need to lath it so that uh, lath and um, brown coat it just to give it um, a continuity, um, especially on the side here um, where it's going, where it's transitioning from one type of uh, from the step to the cinder block. So we're going to be doing that on both sides of this step. Okay, so we've got obviously got one, two, three, four, five total ris risers in this. Um, and uh, yeah, you can look at the dimensions on the drawing. So, all right, so um, the second part of this is the sidewalk. Uh, there's going to be a sidewalk that's coming from this step right here to that door over there. So what's happening here is... Uh, he wants us to cut out a section of concrete um, that's coming along um, from from the uh, step here to the door, um, and they're going to be putting in a, a four foot fence here. Um, uh, they're working currently with Dakota fence, and uh, what would have to hap What's going to happen is that they Dakota or we'd have to cut this out first, and then Dakota fence would come in and actually install their fence posts. Um, and leave a section open for us to go through, but then we would be installing a walkway from the um, from the steps to the um, to the door over there. Um, it's going to be four feet wide. Uh, he is going to be sending us a CAD drawing. He works with CAD, so he did a drawing for this. Um, so uh, we'll get the exact dimensions of it um, when he sends that to us. Um, so then, uh, you'll see. Notice this deck here. They're getting rid of this deck. He will be removing the deck itself, not the footings, but the deck, and he'll be removing any stone that he wants to save. Um, and then we'll be digging uh, out an area for a patio here. Once again, he didn't have the exact dimensions, but uh, he should have it on the CAD on the CAD drawing that he's going to be sending me. This tree is going to be removed um, by us, so uh, we'll bid to have that tree removed. And I'll come over here so you can kind of get a gauge. So that's the end of the pad or the of the deck, and uh, yeah. So you can, as I'm, I'm over here, you can kind of see this this door. Um, it's gonna, I believe, it's gonna come to the edge of this over here. And I'm just gonna show you the house at the top so you can get an idea of the width of this back area. So it's not terribly wide, comparatively speaking. So um, he said that there are there are window wells under here, um, but. Uh, you know what? No, there's just uh, windows. There's no window wells. So we just need to make sure that uh, um, this is more for Nick that we line up the correct grade. Now, I mean, as I look back here, there is the grade is kind of going the wrong way. Um, so um, we'll have to do some. Um, we might have to do a little bit d uh, deeper of a dig out to ensure that water doesn't go back into the house, kind of uh, um, make extra space for the water to go. Um, yeah, that's just a suggestion, so, 
All right. So um, this um, play this playset is going to be moved, and in this back area here, let me take a few steps back, and I'm, once again, I'm going to show you the uh, the the roof line there. Um, in this corner here, so you can kind of see this corner, um, <clears throat> he is going to be putting in basically a pergola with um, that can have screens put on it. So. Uh, we would need, need to, or, uh, he's asking us to dig four sauna tubes and to fill them up so that way he can bolt onto them with, um, with some uh, six by six uh, pieces for his pergola. Um, so we'll get the exact placement of that. So um, I, I would like, I want to do it uh, because that way uh, we'll pour it as well. So then we can put the, there's going to be a patio that's going in this footprint as well. So. Um, I believe he said it was 10 by 12. I have it in my notes. Um, the pergola is 10 by 12, but we're, he wants a foot on each side. So it'll be a 12 by 14 patio, basically, that's going underneath this pergola in this area over here. Um, where um, Let's see if I can't walk over here. Um, so kind of from this corner um, and out toward this way. Once this playground is gone, we're going to have open access to this. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be need to be relatively level in here just because it's a um it is a uh a pergola it's going to be a, a basically flat kind of like a pat uh so we can put a pitch on it if we i said that we might i'll leave it up to the guys as to how we want to do it and the grade at which we want to do it at now i am noticing right now that we do have um a catch or we do have a downspout in here uh, we might have to get creative. We'll probably want a bit of catch basin. They also have one back there um, to see where, um, where we're going to put the water out um, to make sure that doesn't get too much um, too much water underneath underneath it. All right, so that's that one. Finally, we've got three slab steps that he wants to put in place. Um, we'll bid it as Fond du Lac because he's got this little Fond du Lac wall over here. And uh, we're going to put in three uh, Fond du Lac slab steps going through this. A little bit of this wall is going to need to be just removed. That's, the pieces are no problem to move. Um, I told them that we would have to cut this back ever so slightly, this uh, um, corrugated tubing to allow for the first step to come in. Um, but he understands that, and that should be good. So um, we're going to bid it with... Uh, the patios are going to be bid three different ways. The first way is with bluestone. Uh, the second way is uh, with a cheap paver from, say, Patio Town, one of the really, you know, the, the, the four by eights, the, the really simple ones to lay. Um, and then the third way is going to be using, let's go with like a Borgert, um, uh, like a three, a th one that has three different sizes to it, like the six by nines and the uh, six by six, and maybe like a three by six, something along those lines. Um, just something a little more expensive, just so that he can see what a nice paver versus bluestone versus the cheap paver costs. So, um, as far as the stone that we're using on the buttresses is concerned, um, if you look at the house, it's kind of a dark gray. I told them that we try and find something that might match that to, um, to look nice to it. No, nothing, no, no color. I told them we want to keep it as monochromatic and kind of as dark as possible uh, just to keep it um, so we're not adding too much color texture. Um, because the bluestone is going to have a color texture, the house has its own color texture, if you will, being monochromatic. I don't want to add too much um, anything that's going to detract from, um, that's just going to look goofy um, over here. So, yeah, so we've got the buttresses here. We've got a walkway going from point A to point B. We've got a patio that's going in place of this, um, of this deck. We've got a patio on the far side where the pergola is going to be with four sauna tubes. And then we've got three uh, Fond du Lac slab steps going over there. Nice job. I think it'll, I think it'll look real nice.